Agriculture currently accounts for about a quarter of greenhouse gas emissions. And in order to reach the goals of the Paris Agreement, there needs to be a deep transformation of the sector. Agricultural technology company Syngenta is transforming agriculture with science-driven technological innovations to deliver high productivity and high quality food while fighting climate change and restoring nature. Well, I sat down at the COP28 talks here in Dubai to talk to Chief Sustainability Officer of Syngenta, Petra Lanx. We are here at COP28 Dubai. Why is it so important for Syngenta to be here and a part of the conversation? This is the first time that agriculture is on top of the agenda in addressing climate change. We are seeing three pavilions that deal with food and ag, and the COP presidency has launched an ambitious transformation agenda, a declaration that has been signed already by 140 countries. We want to be part of that debate. So what are you hoping might get discussed or maybe some positive outcomes for the industry? What are you hoping for? We want the community to understand the crucial role farming has in addressing climate change. So if we don't use the existing ag land as productive as possible and with the least impact on the environment, we will not be able to achieve the Paris Agreement. So let's continue the conversation up in our studio, shall we? Petra Laux, great to have you here in our COP28 studio. Thanks for the invite, Laura. It's a pleasure. Now, agriculture currently accounts for a quarter of greenhouse gas emissions, not a pretty figure there. So how can agriculture be leveraged in order to reduce these huge numbers? There's a huge opportunity in agriculture. So what we need is we need to feed over 9 billion people by 2050, and we need to lower greenhouse gas emissions from about 15 to 4 gigatons. And agriculture can do this because agriculture has the opportunity to also be a huge carbon sink. So Laura, in essence, we have to enable farmers to produce more on the existing farmland to reduce emissions on farm and to sequester more carbon. And to do this, there are three ways we see forward. So one is to boost soil health. Soil health is so important because it's subject to 95% of the food production. And we need to understand better what impacts soil health, how we improve it. And we need to have a framework for farmers because in essence, there is nothing in it for them. Currently, we need existing carbon markets to be better adapted to soil health. So this is the first. The second is digital. We see the digital revolution make a difference in any business and we believe this is also true for farming. There's a lot of decision aids, the detection, um, understanding science we can put into digital tools to help farmers with their daily business, which is to decide the right thing to do to achieve the outcomes we all want. And the last is we need an innovation revolution. This is what happened in transport and in energy. We see a big innovation effort. We need the same in agriculture. And we have to offer new seeds. We have the biotechnology that will enable us to produce seeds that are much more targeted to the new climatic conditions. And we will be able to have better crop protection that helps farmers both adapt and mitigate climate change. Tell us more about Syngenta Group and exactly what you do, because from what I hear, you're driving significant change through innovation and science-led technology as well. So tell us more about that. So if we want to change, um, produce enough food and reach the Paris climate targets, we need to think differently about how we produce food and how we consume food. We work on the side of how we produce food differently and the job is to use the existing agricultural land as productively as possible to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and to sequester carbon in soil. We provide technology to support farmers to achieve these goals. It's very important that we keep our eye on productivity because if not, we will have to deforest more land. But it's also important to keep soil healthy. Let's get into the science part, shall we? So methane and nitrous oxide are are you know, the main issues within agriculture. So tell us a little bit more about how this works and maybe some of your solutions against this as well. So Syngenta is a science group. We are a agricultural innovation powerhouse with 
uh, about 150 research sites, 6,500 people, and we invest 1.3 billion into research every single year. And what we try is to bring these solutions that help farmers both adapt to climate change and mitigate climate change. When it comes to methane emissions, the biggest problem here is rice cultivation and cattle growing. And we actually work on solutions for both. So for cattle, we have an energy efficient feed, which is a corn seed, uh, which then if you feed it to the cow will uh, more easily turn starch into sugar and so you have a 5% feed efficiency. That means you can feed a cow with 5% less land and 5% less of emissions. This is gigantic if you, if you think of, of the scale uh, of benefit you can achieve with this. When it comes to rice, the idea is to have a different way of rice cultivation so that the methane doesn't emit from the rice paddies. And we are experimenting with the best seeds and then also the best herbicides to be used in these different cultivation systems to keep the methane emission low, but also do what the farmer needs most, to secure a harvest. Some very impressive figures when it comes to your research, years and years of research here. So is there anything sort of groundbreaking, as well as what you've mentioned, that maybe we can get sort of excited about? And what has been the biggest breakthrough so far? The thing in agriculture is there is not one single breakthrough, you know. We, we know from energy, from transport, what we need to do. We need um, solar panels and renewable energy and electric cars. And we don't have this single one solution yet in agriculture. What we propose is to focus on achieving the right outcomes. So we want to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, sequester carbon and keep productivity. And with that, we can actually accelerate the innovative power of the community if we agree on these things so everybody can contribute. You're very much a global company. So what sort of markets are we looking at here? And does one size fit all? Because obviously we've got lots of different climates all over the world. So how do you make sure that that's uh, aligned with the different markets that you, you operate in? It's a jolly good point because agriculture is very local. And so the farmer needs to understand the local environment, the local soil, the climate. And um, we try to help farmers in this de decision making with the digital agenda. So in every industry, we see digital revolutionize the way business is being done, and we think this can also apply to farming. So with our science, we have predictive systems about what is the best seed to choose, what is the best time to harvest, when do I need to spray, how do I need to do this with the least impact. So there's a lots of tools we are providing. What sort of game-changing approach do we need to see within agriculture then? What, what is it that's going to instigate this change? Because is it the science? Is it the technology? Is it money? Sort of what, what's, or maybe it's a combination of both. What's the ultimate solution in your mind? I think what we need to understand is that it's a strategic approach to change the way agriculture is being done. And we suggest to focus on outcomes. The outcome is to increase productivity because that's what we need reduce water use, improve soil health, reduce the impact on biodiversity. And to do this, we need to define these outcomes and we need to be mindful in the whole ag value chain, how we work with each other. So we, this is a huge strategic alignment exercise, actually, to make sure we incentivize from the farmer to the trader, to the food company, to the consumer along the same outcomes we seek to achieve. What's next for Syngenta then going forward? Where do you see the company in the next sort of five years and maybe the whole sort of agriculture landscape? Where do you hope that might be as well? We seek to bring more agricultural breakthroughs. There's more to come from the biotechnology side. There's more to come from digital, from the biological, so materials that are derived from nature and that uh, harness actually the power of nature. So we hope to be able to stimulant plants to be very productive even uh, with nutrient lack and in a drought. Um, we also seek for seeds that are much more targeted and that can even speak to if they have a need, if they have too little, uh, too little fertilizer or if they have uh, a, a pest. So there's a lot of science revolution coming.
Really fantastic to speak to you today, Petra, and thank you for that really brilliant insight as well into everything you're doing through science-led technology. Very impressive indeed. Thank you for joining us.